Right, so you may have come across this problem on the screen here. Today we're going to go uh, through it, explain how it happens and how we can fix it. First of all, we're going to look at the properties of integers. After the end of this very quick clip, we'll be back in to view the code and take you through a couple of examples and see how you can fix it. Right, so you've seen uh, the properties of integers. Um, there could be whole numbers and there's a range, they can be in quite a big range. But why does this problem occur? And what are people doing or what could you be doing in your code that's causing the problem? So let's go uh, through some logic here on my screen. Let's have a look at it. And you see, we're, we create, we've recreated the error already. Let's see how we can fix it. So in this first example, we've got two examples here. And this is the first example. Um, We've basically created a, a data error variable. And we're, can, we're wanting to equal an integer of a value 1.0. The problem with value 1.0 is that when you run this, the system um, basically, or the computer program basically goes to take away the, the columns and basically convert it to an integer. But it can't do convert it to an integer when there's a decimal point, as we've already discussed in the properties. So one way to fix that well, there's two ways actually. We do this, okay? So in this instance now, when it takes away the commas, it will run the code and it will now recognize it as an integer, okay? So that's the first thing. Another way to resolve this issue is you just literally take out the commas, invert the commas, and you also get that. And also one thing to remember that you do it this way as well that the computer programs they round integers down so if we just look at this here uh, even though you put in 1.25 it actually recognizes as an integer but um, it actually rounds it down to one because integers obviously have no decimal points um, are at the, po uh, the point decimal points okay so there is a scenario where you would get the error that what this video is about it's essentially all to do around is how you present the value that you want to declare as an integer. So just to recap, go back here. In this scenario, it's going to look at what's inside the brackets and it's going to basically say return the error again from 1.25. As discussed, we can't get, uh, we can't use uh, percentages or anything out of the decimal point. So that's the scenario of how actually the error is occurring. So let's look at a scenario where we're taking input. So I just want to comment this out. Uh, I'll comment this. So in this scenario, we're going to take an entry, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to put in some values and just see what happens, okay? So here it's looking for a number, okay? So what I'm going to do is put in one, okay? Return. And as expected, it gives us back no errors and it declares a class integer that's what you'd expect but if we really run this code again so I'll just do this again and say I put in 1.56 it's going to give me the error back because it doesn't recognize it through the input um, that has a decimal point okay consequently also if you put in, in this scenario so we put in some names. So let's just put in my name, Joe. Okay. It's also going to give you back the same error. And the reason for that is it recognizes that the value you put in is not an integer. And as a reason, because it's not an integer, it's going to give you back the invalid literal for int. So the rule of thumb is when you're doing this, number one is on your input, uh, just make sure that you don't have any decimal places or fractions or percentages. Number two, uh, if your input is taking any strings. Um, strings can't be converted to ints, and as a result, they will give you this invalid literal for int or with base 10. So that is a very quick under explanation of how you go about checking for it, how you go about fixing this problem. If you like this video tutorial, please like to subscribe. 
hit the subscribe button and the like button. More videos coming out soon on value errors and type errors in this channel. We'll be documenting more that I've come across in my programming for some of the videos for this channel. So please subscribe and hit the like button, as I said, and we'll catch you soon. Thanks for popping by. Take care.